my name is Julie, Julie Allen, and this is my husband, Harry, and we've been married for three years. Harry and I met uh, in 2009, and we actually, were, we both were on a committee together, but um, he wasn't actually supposed to be on the committee. Somebody else was. And I'll let Howie tell that story. Actually, um, I, I'm part of a self advocate group in Walkerton called the Action Committee. And the chairperson of that committee, Craig Harrison, he was asked to come down and, and be a part of the committee working group. But he thought he would like to send me instead to give me an opportunity. Little did he know, he's setting me up to meet the woman of my dreams. <laughs> I don't want to tell this story. Sure. Yeah. yeah, okay. But the actual engagement, I came to Belleville, I brought this ring. But it was really terrifying to actually bring it up and say I'm ready for marriage. Yeah. That was really scary for me just to get to that point and say, no. I proposed ready to get married. Yeah. It's so hard to do. The box is like humongous. And I, Julie, when I were getting ready to go to a restaurant, there's a restaurant that's up the road that I wanted, and I decided I was going to propose that. Hmm. So yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. we're getting ready to go. Julie's getting ready to go, and I'm trying to put this box in my pocket. Julie says, yeah. what are you doing? And I'm going, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. And she goes, what are you doing? I said, nothing, nothing else said. Yeah. We, get, we get to the restaurant, we order dinner, we eat, and afterwards I'm in my pocket trying to pull the thing out of my pocket yeah. <laughs> to get it on the table so she could open up and I could ask her to marry me. Didn't quite get it on one knee because the aisles were like that yeah. big. Yeah. I was there, kind of sit over and said, Julie, will you marry me? Uh, yeah. And she said it yes. It was really nice, yeah. I've always wanted to get married, but I wanted to have a wonderful relationship that I have no doubts that he's the one, and he is the one. We got a pastor by the name of Jeremy Sanderson. We just really bonded, and and then I asked him if he would be the if he would do the wedding ceremony, which he agreed to. <laughs> Actually, when we got married, uh, it was raining. It was raining. Yeah, well. Okay, because. <laughs> Um, we had planned to take pictures outside. That didn't happen. So about maybe a hundred people came to the wedding. And at the reception, me and my sister sang. Yeah. We sang some of the songs we sang when we were a kid. I got to sing my fan of the opera song with Tammy and my sister. Our first dance, the song was called, okay, When God Made You. That was the song, and that was the perfect, perfect song. I love you. <laughs> you know, when we argue, okay, um, he makes me laugh, okay? So, you know, that kind of, um, you know, like... Lessens the storm. Yeah, yeah, lessens the storm. If we're having issues, we actually talk about it. You know, like, and also, we don't go to bed angry. We'll go our separate ways, and then, you know, I'll listen to music, and he'll do what he needs to do, then we'll come back and talk about it. Yeah. And then we go to bed. <laughs> yes, yeah. So it might be like 2 a.m., but, as long but, as it yeah, takes. yeah. Make sure you're marrying the right person is my biggest. Um, if you find someone that you that you might think is pretty, but they're but they're if they're if they say things or they do stuff that you don't like, mm -hmm. and and you told them and and it takes your hurt and they do not fix it, and it goes on a long time, they had not fixed it. Please don't marry that person. Because if you do, it's not the right person. It'll just go downhill really fast. Yes. 
Well, this is what I did, is I actually interviewed Howie. Like, um, see, we were five hours apart, so what we did is we emailed each other. Okay, so I asked him questions about, you know, about... Anger. Yes, like his temper, okay, like what he does when he gets angry, like does he swear at you, does he, you know, uh, all things. yes, all that, right, and I asked him, do you like to communicate, because that's important, because if you get into a relationship that with a person that doesn't want to communicate, it will not work, okay, and get into a relationship with someone who respects you and definitely loves you. Definitely. Communication's a two-way street. Yes, it is. If one person's communicating, the other person won't always shut down and says, I don't want to hear it, yeah, I'm done. That's right. There's yeah. no marriage. There's no, it will not yeah. last. It's yeah. over. Yeah. I'm actually looking very forward to getting old. You know, just Growing old together, it's gonna be nice. Yeah. Having her, like every day I come home, I see her. You know, I don't, I, this, this honeymoon stage, it has been three years and it has not died down yeah. one bit. Yeah. So one of my future goals is to just keep it this way, never let it die down. Um, We're always kissing, smooching, hugging. I, I'm actually, well, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but maybe together, because there's not a people's first here. So we might start a chapter. When she speaks and she's doing presentations, she gets the passion and there was something with the passion that hit me like a rock yeah. that drew me to her. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but it's something with the passion that made me want to talk to her, made me want to get closer yeah. to her, yeah. made me look up to her, and yeah. next thing you know, yeah. here we and, are. And honestly, okay, this should be in the... I've never been happier. Okay, this is a very happy marriage. I've never okay. been happier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too, honey. <laughs> My advice to people that want to do that, get a smaller box with a ring. Yeah.